morning guys right now it's 7 a.m. in the morning it's still pretty dark out here the Sun usually rises at like 7 30 7 45 anyways I'm heading towards the gym right now because I thought I need to get a workout early in the morning because this is one thing that I've been procrastinating since a long long time I mean I gotta get back on my workout schedule now. I'm gonna wake up every day at 6 30 and I'm gonna head to the gym at 7 except Fridays because I have an 8 a.m. class oh my god it's such cold out here today and it was time to work out. Just got done with my workout. I feel really good today. Getting up early and doing my workout. Time to head to the dining hall for some healthy breakfast. All right, it's 8.45 a.m. After having the breakfast at dining hall, I went back to my room, had shower, changed. The usual routine. Right now I'm heading towards the student services building because I have an appointment over there at 9 a.m. Let me tell you one thing about appointments in the US. If it says 9 a.m., unlike the Indian Standard Time, which runs like half an hour after the scheduled time, your 9 a.m. means 9 a.m. This is one thing that I had to learn pretty fast. There are many consequences of being late over here. So for my 9 a.m. appointment, if I reach anytime later than 9 or 5 a.m., they're going to put a strike on my account and they're going to remember the strike. And if I reach later than 9.15 a.m., they're just going to cancel my appointment and they're going to ban me for one month. I gotta be on time everywhere I go. People here value time a lot. So make sure you realize that pretty fast when you come over here. Because if you don't learn that pretty soon, you're going to get into trouble everywhere. Hey, let's go. So it is 9.56 a.m. I just got done with my appointment here at SSB. So now I gotta head to the SLC for my physics class which starts in 4 minutes. So again, just like yesterday, jumping from one place to another. Just got done for the class one for the day. Right now I'm heading to a student union to meet my friend. They're gonna go grab some lunch again in my favorite restaurant that is Create. And then we're gonna talk about some work that is pending for a long time. After that I'm not sure but I'm mostly heading out with my friend off campus to an Indian restaurant for a buffet. And the buffet is expensive. I mean it's $12 for the buffet but that's the price you gotta pay if you wanna have Indian food over here. It's like the same logic. When you're in India, for example, you pay extra to eat Italian food for Mexican food. It's the same case for me over here. If you want to eat Indian food, I have to pay extra for it. So $12 for buffet like here quite seems reasonable. So I just checked online that one of the companies called State Farm is holding up a booth in the ECS building. Uh, they are sharing about their internship opportunities and what, what skills do you need for the particular jobs in State Farm. I mean, this is a great opportunity to learn uh, insider information as to how do things work. And especially I'm really interested in data analysis right now, so I can just talk up to those employers and know more about what skills do I need. So there are many such opportunities popping up here and there on campus. So I always keep checking my UTD email and the Comet calendar, Comet calendar here is a schedule which is put up every day online where to tell you about all the things happening around on campus so I keep checking it every day so always try to stay up to date as to what's happening around campus so I just had this great talk with one of the representatives from State Farm I mean she critiqued over my resume she was telling me about the different skills as I told you that's one of my main question and she was saying like what, what further courses do I need to do if I'm looking out for certain positions and overall it was really really productive it also reminds me there is going to be a career fair happening in two weeks in the university so after I visit one of those fairs, I'm also going to make a video about how to make the most out of career fairs and such events happening around on campus. Subscribe and stay tuned because more such videos are on its way. So I've got slight changes in my plan. Instead of going out for the Indian buffet right now, I'm at Coit because I need to go to my bank because I do not, I'm not aware much about banking and I messed up a few of the stuff in my bank account. So I need to go and get everything sorted with them first. I mean, I myself made a point in my video to all of you that learn banking before you go but there are so many aspects new aspects to banking over here that I somehow ended up messing up my account over here but the best part about things over here is banks are so cooperative over here first of all there is no line at all in the bank just go sit down get your work done and unless you're defaulting your credit card or something they'll help you out in sorting out everything so there's nothing to worry about but gotta go and get this thing done first before I proceed to do anything else just got done sorting out things with the bank again there, as I told you like just before going in there was no line at all and it was so cooperative they understood like what I don't know much about banking and they waved off the charges because I did it for the first time without unknowingly I just like the kind of services they provide over here anyways right now I need to head back to the university now but before I go back to the dorm I'm going to go back to the SPN building 
and collect my gift certificate for all of you are wondering like what is this guy talking about what gift certificate so if you have been following me on snapchat you would know that i won a ut design contest which was basically an engineering contest here for 26 hours and design was like so much fun i was posting updates about it on snapchat and my team won 200 dollars for it which is gonna come as an amazon gift certificate the gift certificate and get my efforts paid off it's 2 30 pm and right now i'm in the jindal school of management because in half an hour workshop slash seminar by State Farm over here in one of the halls. So I'm really excited to attend the seminar and gain some more information. It's 6.50 p.m. and it's already so dark around here. It almost feels like it's 9 p.m. or something. This is the thing with winters over here. I mean, I used to stay in Mumbai. The winters and summers, like, they were not that severe, especially when it comes to sunlight and stuff. And there comes the comic cab. I need to run. So right now I'm on my way to the Student Union for the Road Track Club meeting. And after that, I have a spice dance club session. They're gonna teach us salsa for two hours. Just got done with the salsa practice, so let me at least give you a small background as to what happened. So there's a club on campus called Spice. They teach you salsa and jive. So I'm their member. The membership fee was like only $25 for the entire semester, which is a pretty good deal for learning a new form of dance. They have practices every Tuesday and Wednesday from 8 to 10 p.m. Sorry, I could not get many clips of their dancing because I was really engrossed in their dance itself. But I hope the small clip gave you an idea as to what the whole thing is. Once again, I'm sorry if you cannot see my face. It's pretty dark out here, like except these few sources of light. So I think I'm going to call it a day. But before I end, a few of you asked me about my Instagram account. Yes, I do keep posting a lot on Instagram, especially pictures with my friends over here. I obviously cannot add you all on Facebook because there's a limit to the number of people I can add on Facebook. And I mostly only add people who I personally know. If you're still interested to see more pictures about the things I'm doing around here, follow me on Instagram. Again, my Instagram ID is same as my Snapchat ID. That Indian guy 18, pretty simple. Go ahead, fire up the Instagram app, search for that Indian guy 18.